made it. By the storm's end, some three hours after the first twister hit, half the town had been ravaged by anywhere from 10 to 15 tornadoes, leaving five dead, dozens injured, and 1,200 homeless. But starting the next day, the citizens of Blainsworth dusted themselves off and began the process of rebuilding. Twist just took Dad's store, but it didn't take long for him to get back on his feet. He became coach of the high school football team, and they won their first championship the very next year. He's even taken up a few new hobbies, but he's not quite as good at them. Mom's saving up to take him to France without the guitar. Ryan's a little heavier now, and he threw his first football last week. Hey, I even caught it. Arthur was elected to the student council on a platform of better food in the school cafeteria. He's still waiting for his first date. I don't spend quite as much time as I used to with him. Because Stacy and I, well, you know. Bob's got new storms to figure out, like the twins that are due next year. He and Jenny have settled down here in Blainsworth, and well... <laughs> She's never been happier. When spring came, Grandma Belle Zephyr arrived, took us all by surprise, and we miss her. We miss her a lot. That night changed everybody's lives, and I think about it quite a bit. I mean, a tornado can hit the ground for only 30 seconds, rip up your house, and leave the neighbor's place completely untouched. I just try to live so I wouldn't have any regrets if another one hit. Because you just never know. And I guess that's the best way for it to be.